Yo, it's time to check out the first episode of Ark Knight's Prelude to Dawn. And the only thing I know about this series is that it's based off a mobile game. And I actually played a little bit of this mobile game when it first released. However, I didn't follow the story. And I think I played maybe like the first chapter or something. The gameplay wasn't really my cup of tea. But from what I hear, the lore is absolutely awesome. So I definitely want to check out the anime and see what it's all about. So let's hop in. Alrighty, man. Doctor. Aren't they like, uh, from what I remember, they're like uh, soldiers or something, right? Sorry for making you suffer again. It sounds like the person talking is suffering. Maybe not. Is that a bunny girl? So what's wrong with the doctor? It's Doberman? Is it a dog person? Is this doctor like very important? Like, what kind of skills does this doctor have, bro? I like that it's using the widescreen format, right? With the bars on the top. Definitely gives it a movie quality. And this doctor, like, I wonder if this doctor was a part of their group, whoever, whatever their group's called. Or if he was, like, a rogue doctor and, like, people are fighting over him. He seemed, well, him or he, him or she, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. They seem important, man. Like, very important. So I like, I wonder, like, what their skills are as a doctor. They're in the corners everywhere, man. Are they trying to talk? Hmm. What happened to them, man? Oh, that's a cat girl. Yo, is Doberman really gonna be a dog person, dude? Maybe that's not a cat. No, that's a cat person. She's a bunny girl. Is the guy a dog person? Because he had ears too, it looked like. Ooh! Well, they got they got found out, bro. Head to tail, bro. Hey man, some of them might actually have tails. Oh damn, who's messing them up? Is it Doberman? Yo, it has to be. Yeah, yo. I like her design, bro. And she is a dog person. Look at those ears, dude. Wonder what are they looking for the doctor? Or are they actually there for something else? Oh, it's time to battle, bro. Tatakai. They can't even talk. You're a TS. Please log in, it says. So they don't need to talk then. They can use this. Uh... Oh, they're talking finally. Wait, they have amnesia? And it is a woman. Oh, she lost her memories. That's not good. They seem to like I have known her for a while. Oh, wow. Yeah, they seem very upset about that. They must have known her. Like, she must have been a comrade. Rhodes Island. Yeah, that has to be their group. Damn, they got so much faith in this doctor. So... The doctor is actually their commander beforehand as well, which is why they wanted her to command them. That sucks that their commander doesn't doesn't remember them, bro. Like that's a huge loss if that was really their commander. My man got a crossbow. I mean, I guess that's efficient, but I would assume the other people have gun guns, right? 
the actual firearms. Nah, this is a setup, bro. This is a trap. This has to be a trap, right? It's a setup. It's a trap! Oh, yo, he pulls out that whip. You can whip me, mommy. Yup, it's a pincer trap, bro. They're coming from all sides. Mm -hmm. Damn, this series is really opening up like this, huh? They really want to hook people, man. Damn, bro. I thought she was choking him out for a second. Ah, uh, that's sad, man. Ooh, does Amiya have a hero complex, maybe? Oh, is that Ace right there, bro? It is. I like his design, too. Yeah, my man looking sleek. Look at that design, bro. The reunion movement. The oropathy disease? Okay, so there's some kind of, like, disease going around, huh? Right. The government's failing to quell them, then of course that's going to empower them, right? A catastrophe? Is that what that storm is? Oh, this world's interesting so far. <laughs> Dude, I wonder what the government has done to make them feel this way. Did they, like... Did they, like, forget about the people that were infected or something? Did they, like, not treat them like humans, bro? Still don't have her memories. I was gonna say, I feel like somebody's gonna come in the uh, background there. Yo, she yeah, she has a hero complex, bro. She wants to save everybody. Wait, she's the leader? I thought the doctor was the leader. They said she was the commander. And we know there's multiple captains, but she's the leader? Oh, what? Yo, I love how it just, like, slowly zoomed in on her face, bro. True. Yeah, she was the one that spoke up. Right, it's not just her memories are lost, but her skills are not lost. Okay. Okay, man. Believing in the doctor, bro. Who has crazy analytical and observation skills. Yeah, they also look like bear people. Or maybe squirrel people. Yo! The drone's about to light this dude up, bro. Oh! Oh. Well, they're crashing the party now. I like that that one guy was like, yo, what are you doing? Haven't you killed enough? But like, not that he's a good person himself, right? Oh, what? What is that, bro? What is that ability? He can like channel energy? Her arts? Oh, so she's like a mage. They call her a caster. Yo, that whip. And her arts are black. They were surprised by that, bro. No different from us? They're not going around killing civilians, bro. What do you mean? Were they all infected by this oropathy thing? Yo, this was good, man. Okay, what a first episode. Some things you don't forget, man. They're afraid of her, too?
Are they afraid of them because they have this disease? Oh, okay, that's exactly what it is. Do they all have that or just her? Hmm. So even though they helped them, I mean, at least she apologized. I mean, she said thank you, right? She showed gratitude, but... They're afraid of this infection, this or oropathy thing, man. That's not their drone, is it? There's an actual dog in it, too? Okay, so there's actually animals in it. Ooh, this is another group, bro. That wasn't a part of their group, nor was it reunion, was it? It's fatal. Okay, or apathy. Oh, they actually turn into dust? I see. That's why the reunion said you're no different than us. Right. Because they probably, you know, they're afraid, you know? So it's irrational fear. Interesting. And that's why doctor's so important, isn't it? I wonder if the doctor was close to finding a cure. There it is. Okay. That's why she's so important. Bro, what is this, like, catastrophe gonna be? Like, this storm? Like, I wonder what that entails. It's gonna swallow the whole city? And is it gonna destroy the city? And what causes the catastrophes, I wonder? The same, same thing that caused the oropathy? <laughs> you can't take it out of her, man. That's her soul, you know? Oh, wait, what? You're very... In French. She had to think about that for a second. Interesting. Hmm. That was interesting how she looked at the uh, operating system. Huh. Predestination was the name of the first episode. Interesting. All right, man. Not a bad first episode. Definitely has me intrigued. I want to see exactly where this is going to go, right? I want to see more of the world. I need that world building. They did a great job of setting it up at the end of the episode here, explaining to us what's going on in the world with this infectious disease or apathy with this infectious disease, as well as what's going on with the social aspect of it, right? The political aspect, the Ursus government, which I have a feeling is a play on the word Ursula or, or you know, uh, the word for bear, uh, Ursula, I think it is. You know what I'm trying to say. They basically fear mongered. They put out propaganda against the infected and everybody fears them. So everybody in that city, everybody around the world wants to kill the infected. Even though there's really no harm through bodily contact, the person crystallizes, then turns in the dust and that's how it spreads. So at the end of the day, you can contain the infection by just putting this person somewhere in a containment vessel or something and letting it die down, I would assume. But at the end of the day, the government has put out propaganda that make people fear them. So everybody is against them. And I may, and it makes me wonder why the government did that. Is the government trying to hide something? Perhaps they're the reason for this disease and they just want to eliminate everybody that is infected by it. That way, the truth never comes out maybe. But at the end of the day, the doctor's trying to find a cure. Reunion's trying to get to the doctor too, it looked like. So I wonder why Reunion wanted that. Maybe they wanted the doctor to, to, you know, cure this disease for them. Definitely curious to learn more about the world. However, the doctor was in a cold sleep. Now she has amnesia. I wonder who put her on ice, so to speak. Was it the government itself? Perhaps the government did it to keep her from finding a cure so they could continue to exterminate the infected, right? Definitely curious to find out more about that. And then also the catastrophe. What the hell is this? This is a storm that apparently swallows the whole city whole but we don't know why it's caused yet all we really got to see of the catastrophe was that a storm was starting to brew and that it was going to swallow the city and they didn't want to get caught in it right so i'm definitely curious to find out why these storms are happening and if that's linked to the disease or apathy as well definitely intrigued if you can't tell really enjoyed the little bit of world building we had at the end the characters seemed cool i also was surprised that amia was the leader i didn't realize she was the actual leader of the entire Rhodes island but that was pretty 
pretty cool to learn. And I also like the captain's design. Captain Doberman, she can step on me and whip me all she wants, you know what I'm saying? But I would love to hear your thoughts on this first episode. Are you excited for more Ark Knights reactions? Because I'm definitely going to be continuing the series and probably will be doing one episode at a time. But again, I would love to hear your thoughts down below. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.